So if you are a fan of Lineage OS custom ROM that has two versions right now available. One is 23, which is based on Android 16. Another one is 23.1 based on the latest Android 16 QPR. The one which is based on QPR1, the one which is now material expressive is not official one right now while making this video. Maybe soon Fortnite's not here, uh, but unofficially available for many devices. But let's have a quick look at some of the things, some of the differences you'll find in both of these. Firstly, if you use Material Expressive UI, if you use Android 6 Android, this is Lineage 23.1, you will see blur behind the app drawer as compared to normal Lineage OS. Next one, you will see a new quick settings panel. Lineage OS always has similar simple minimal UI, but because this kind of UI was implemented in stock Android, so obviously Lineage OS has that in that source code it's available. So Lineage OS 23.1 based on Android 16 QPR1 has the new UI, has the new amazing quick settings panel, has the ability to resize and so on. Resize the quick setting tiles I'm talking about. If you move on to wallpapers and style section, you will, you will see a major difference in both of them. If you use Lineage's 23, which has a simple, which is same kind of thing with Android 15, 16, 14 and so on. But with Lineage's 23.1, we have a different UI in wallpapers and style. If you want to know more about this new UI, that's available with Android 16's QPR1 update available in many other custom ROMs and also in stock Android also. Kind of similar things to that because this is not a custom lineage of GSI or you can say custom edition. It's a simple unofficial edition which will be there for the stable version also for the official version also. So no worries regarding that. You have the option for these themed icons and so on. Although in case you are not aware of, with latest Android 16 QPR2, which just rolled out yesterday, has the option for icon shape customization. So whenever Lineage OS based on QPR2 will come, you will see new features and new customization there. You will also notice one major change in settings UI in Android 16 or Lineage 23 till and uh, till Lineage 23. Things were quite simple, but with 23.1, new colorful settings UI available there. Also, sound and vibration settings, the sliders, if you're able to notice, Previously, quite simple, quite minimal, including these switches. Different switches are there, different sound settings, different kind of sliders. Also, in vibration and haptic section, you will see new slider sections almost everywhere in the terms of UI. These are some visual changes which we are getting with Lineages 23 or 23.1. Security and privacy, similar options because you will see fingerprint only, no face unlock. But if we move on to this trust option, which is pre-installed available in Lineage OS, you have material expressive enabled in this case. In 23.1, I'm talking about in 23, simple, minimal, no UI changes at all. Volume panel also has some tweaks available. If you see this, these tweaks in Android 16 QP QPR1, which is Lineage 23.1 in this case, new volume slider, new volume panel. But previously, simple expanded volume panel. So let me know whichever you prefer on your device because many users love material expressive because Lineage 23.1 has that. So many users might install that custom room on their devices. New status bar icons, obviously. New, new battery icon, new Wi-Fi icon and so on. Also the new recent panel, in case you're not aware of. Recent panel has a new UI Features of things are kind of same, the options as you can see, but the UI has changes available here and there. A lot of other things are available, so these are some visual changes just wanted to let you know. Both of the ones are okay. Right now while making this video, Lineage 23 is available officially and Lineage 23.1 available unofficially. If it is available, you can give it a try. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.